Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another TFT match. And we are all starting off with a special treat this game. Let's start off with the Maokai, Force of Nature. Let's see what we get. A bow, double vein. Sure, let's buy that. Wow. Let's buy the Tom Kench. Mage Nami? I don't think so. Not this game. Alright. Let's buy the... Oh, not the Annie. Buy the Nidalee and the Jarvan. Vanguard Wukong. Nah. Not the Vanguard Wukong. Alright, so we actually have... Um, we actually have three Warlords. So let's do that. Okay. Looks like I have Runons. Which I think I'll just slam. That is not a bad item. Depending on what we play, I'll, I guess I'll try to play some with Runons. But right now our team is pretty good. I would say we got the two-star Tom Kench, which matters. Very similar team, except for he's got a Dusk Vein. I think my team is better than this guy. I'm pretty sure I can beat this. I got three Warlords. So I got an extra bonus, but... Uh, Nidalee is dead, which is bad. He, wait, this guy actually beats me. Really? With that? Oh, that's what I thought. I think... Ah, uh, I thought I was going to make money. I just couldn't. I couldn't sell. I wanted to... It's fine, we just missed one gold. But guess what? We have Katarina and Xin Zhao as well. Um, I do like the two keepers, but I also like two sharps. You know what? Let's just go two keepers. Ooh, is he playing fortune? Oh, yes. He, he's lucky. He is lucky because I wanted to play fortune. You know, when these guys, if they get lucky and they high roll everything, fortune is very overpowered. But uh, playing that comp requires a lot of luck. Yeah, let's make money. Here, I'm just gonna go with 10 gold. I don't think I'll use the vein for a while. Alright. Well, let's get a Chain Vest or Negatron. Let me go Negatron. Brawler Maokai, that is actually perfect for my comp. Could have four Brawlers, but... Since I can make 20 gold here, and I think I should just go 6 Warlord if possible. Or... Or I don't. Or I don't play six warlords. Uh, it's still something to think about. But Maokai here would have definitely been perfect if I leveled up and put him in. Wow. Okay, this guy six warlords, two star of eye. Uh, I think it's a loss for me. Yeah, this guy simply has the six warlords. I don't think we could play Vagar this game. But uh, we'll we'll see, I guess. Hmm. Large Rod. And sell these guys for money. For items, I'm going to build Guardian Angel. And I think I'll just build Ionic Spark. Yeah, that's, that's an okay combo here. It's a good tank combo. Do some extra damage. And we're just gonna wait for a good Chosen. I still haven't gotten... Barely. I barely got Chosens in this game. And the ones we got definitely weren't good. So hopefully we get some good stuff. There we go. We got Garen for the 6. So I could... Uh... Yeah, let's just go level 6. And boom. 6 Warlords. 6 Warlord. Tanky Tom Kench. He's playing Shade Zed, but he's got no items, so I should beat this guy. We definitely should have a solid mid game from this point, and then just gotta play well, transition to some that uses my items, and uh, play something we haven't played yet. The Vagar player. There we go. 
He's trying to transition to Vagar, it seems, from the Duelist start. We should be able to take care of this guy. There we go. Easy win. Let's get the Bow Ribbon, because uh, looks like I got some attack speed build or something like that. So let's get a Bow. At this point, it might actually just be better to drop the Tom Kench for Ribbon. But... We'll see. We'll see what happens here. We got two ribbons, so that is close to a two-star ribbon, which is nice. Let's let's buy these champs. My Tom Kench is doing really good though, because that's the kind of build you want to have on Tom. And we rolled the Warlord Jarvan. Alright, well that's worth it. So in this case, we can put in the ribbon. And we can do the, the Keeper bonus. So let's do it. So I could try playing Keepers. That is an option here. Keeper Warlord. Um, maybe 3 star Jarvan or something. But we'll probably not do that because... Yeah. Maybe for another game. I think that's something I don't want to do this game. So we'll try to still play something else. A lot of Vagar, a lot of Warlord players in this lobby, which is good to know. Giant Spelt and Glove. We got another two star in Italy. Let's go level seven. And we could put in. I could roll a bit here. Try to get a fortune, I think. Or I could go two Dusk, I guess. Oh, let's put the Vein in, because Vein is actually perfect. Dusk and Sharp. In this case, we don't need to roll. Our team is looking really saucy right now. Really strong. For the mid game, at least. It would be nice to roll a 2 star ribbon. I'm also going to try to not play ribbon because I have been playing a lot of ribbon. Because she's pretty good. Oh, he's playing the Vi build. You guys see that Vi build? I've always wanted to play that. Turns out that build is pretty pretty nuts sometimes. But we got oh. Oh that Vi is punching. We almost had it. Oh we got it. We beat it with a two star in Italy. Some Elder Woods and Whoa, he has double force of nature. I guess he uh cashed out from his fortune bonus. He's playing a very mixed team. Oh, huh, his team is pretty good. I thought his team was weak. But I guess his uh his Elderwood bonus is kicking in. So we're gonna lose our first round here, which is okay. This is totally fine. We're just looking to transition. Well, let's take the large rod right here in front of me. Elderwood Vagar. Is that it? Yeah, it is. That's pretty good. He's got the basically a perfect build. And uh, he might beat us. His team is looking good. Yeah, he's definitely beating us. Alright, gotta find a way to beat the Vagar guys. Because Vagar is really good. I'm sure everybody knows this. Gotta find a way to beat the Vagar. Let's go level 8. With all the money we got in the bank. Nice. And let's put in... Hmm, I don't really want to drop... Let's roll once. Okay, two star bane. Bunch of hunters, which is actually kind of what I want. I think I will play hunters, because it's not really being played in this game. And the thing is... The thing is... What was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, what I was going to say was, oh yeah, I have, uh, you know, some hunter items, sort of. Not really. We don't really have the best items right now, but we'll see. Let's sell this Jarvan, and we're going to roll for a bit here. I am trying to not play Ribbon. I do want to mention that, but we are getting that as well, huh? Alright. Well, let's buy the Kindred. And let's buy the Irelia as well. 
Two star Riven. I mean, she can help for a little bit. I might sell her though. I might sell her. Getting a Warwick Chosen would be nice. So our items are actually not very good hunter items. Yeah, these are actually really not that good for hunters. So now I'm thinking I gotta play something else. Mage. Huh. I don't know. I'm just trying to put whatever right now. I really want to do Warwick though. It's not double Ionic Sporic. Maybe Jewel Gauntlet and then Titans. Or I could do two Runons. Or it could be a Gwinsu. Our items are not good this game. That's the problem. You know what I'm going to do? A lot of ribbons. Shade, uh, again, not very. I think they want us to play ribbon this game. It's definitely looking like that. All right, see you, Tom Kench. It's looking like a dust game right now, isn't it? It's definitely looking like a dust game. Morello. Yeah, actually, I'll just go Morello. Yeah, let's just do something like that. Alright, let's get... What should I get? The cane? Let me get the cane. Well, 3-star Riven it is. Let's do it. Fortune. Oh! Okay, hold on. Hold on a second, guys. So I'm not gonna actually play Warwick, by the way. I'm just gonna just gonna use this right now. All right, yikes! Assassin Talon. Okay. Oh! Ha ha ha. Okay. Alright, yeah, see this is what happens when no one plays Ribbon, you know? I just ha I had to do that finally because uh, I had to uh, just... Dude, I, I have two more Ribbons on my bench. I literally just took all the Ribbons in this game. Oh, this guy's level 9. He's got Yone chosen. So what? I got 3 star Ribbon, dude. So what? You ain't gonna beat me. I could I should probably just go for uh for dusk. Wait, wait, he's beating me? Oh no he's not, no way. Yeah, I was like, he actually almost got us there. That guy's team was really good, by the way, because he was at a full adept uh Yone chosen build. Anyways. And now we got four dusk with Cassiopeia and Thresh on the board. I should have done this last turn, but I had to um do a quick errand on the side so uh, I could I did not have time we can go yeah let's go red cane give all of these to cannon since I have a three-star ribbon and we beat basically I think the best person in the lobby uh, we're good I don't really have to roll my ribbon is like uber ribbon right now She's gigantic. She has Guardian Angel. Titans. She's going to kill all of these guys. Watch. Oh. Okay, Zakali's actually kind of good. But I told you. My Riven is Uber, guys. Look at how big she is. 25k. Alright. Set. Let's put the set on the board. And that is the three star Vi. That is uh, pretty scary. Three star Vi versus three star Riven. Who wins? Who wins this fight? 
Oh. I think I win. Yeah, just gotta believe in the ribbon. <laughs> uh, 20,000. Alright, let's go... Let's go level 8. Time to try to get... We can't do 6 Dusk. So 4 is the maximum we can do. Uh, Jarvan and Elise. Maybe. Alright, let's do this. Just put four walls on the board. Four walls, and boom, that is the Yone player again. I should beat him, because now I got four walls. He's got a very good team, though. Like, he had a two-star S. He has a two-star set. He went all five golds, but you can't beat the Ribbon. Alright, let's get the... What should I get? Spear of Shojin or Ionic Spark? Ionic Spark? He wants that, so I'm gonna just take that, I guess. Alright, we got Warwick. Lee Sin. Lee Sin. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's do that. I'll just give this to Kane. Double Ionic Spark, why not? Do more damage. All right, three star Vi once again. It's all down to you, girl. <laughs> yep, easy. Wave clear after wave clear, guys. And we do have Lilia. I guess I do want to lock this shop. I do like the two Azirs, so. Cassiopeia, alright. Do I need the vein? Don't really need her. Alright, I'm just gonna put the walls in the back. I should have moved this one down to the middle, because, uh, yeah, the, this is my last guy, and he's playing 3 star Kali with 3 star Pike. Alright, but I think uh, no matter how many 3 stars you have, Riven triumphs all. Yep. Easy win. And we have a Thresh right here. Let's buy that. So this game is an example of where nobody's playing Riven. And you can force a 3-star Riven if you roll enough of her in the early game. And that's what we did. We got a couple Rivens. We had five Rivens. And we just needed four more. So... This is an example of where you can actually turn these types of game games into your favor. Of course, you still have to get a little bit lucky, but let's see. Yone. Do I really care about Yone? All right, so we have a two stars here, but I'm actually not buying that in uh, on purpose. I'm actually not buying that on purpose. I kind of want to give this guy a chance because I, I really don't think I need the two stars here. I actually like the two separate Azirs because I have more stone soldiers that he has to kill. And I knew he wasn't going to beat me. So there you guys go. That's it. If no one is playing a certain champion, especially Riven. Riven is one of the strongest champions in the game if she's a three star. She can kill. She can do 1v9s. But anyways, thanks for watching. And thanks for watching my three star Riven game.